Welcome to another Lumion 8 live stream tutorial guys. This is Chris Welton from C. Welton Design. And in this tutorial we're going to cover the new and improved water that comes with Lumion 8. So we're going to take a look at this Villa Wagner scene. Um, the one that it comes in 8 had just a floating little area here but I've just went ahead and added some really quick uh, some some more land and trees just to make this scene kind of work because we're going to be focusing on the water here and I really love working with water and, and shots off of the water here I right, look obviously didn't finish this here because got floating trees anyways so in Lumion 8 they have completely overhauled the water and definitely for the good so I'm going to take a look and show a couple different things that are different about this water than what we had before. So first off, you might notice is that water and waterfall, waterfall is unchanged, but water shows up on the main tab here. It kind of used to be here and then they put it into nature for water, which um, maybe some people had a hard time finding. But now at least it shows up right here and it just becomes water. <clears throat> And if we go back to the nature tab, though, what we're going to find is we actually have presets of water. You know, in this same water tab, there's just so many different variations, you know, playing with the height, glossiness, scale, and, of course, colors. That's a little extreme, but light up color. That be, Because there's so many possibilities, they've went ahead and made some pre-made ones. And they even give them little, little names to kind of help us understand. So Azir Pool, Black Water, Blue Lake, Blue Ocean. And you're seeing just different variations of those same effects. Just as quick presets for us. So this is great. And we could of course go in here and start adjusting things ourselves. So I'm going to start with something like this one. Now I'm going to I'm going to have you guys understand a big difference in this water. So, if we go to the regular sliders here. Nothing has changed. It's the same exact sliders. But what you're going to notice is is we increase the wave height. So you take a look at the edges here. So one thing you'll notice is that this water is actually being displaced. Now the ocean did this before, but the water was just a no basically a normal map. It was being faked. It was a flat plane. I wish I could show you, but there's no longer a way to access the old water. But it was a flat plane that had basically a normal map that kind of faked the reflection in the waves, made it look like it was going up and down. But if you would, if you went super close to it, you saw that it's you see that it's perfectly flat. And this is kind of the case here, but notice, notice how it's actually going up on the edges here. Especially if you go really high up. Now, I only point this out because I've had instances where I've seen it poking up in places that I, I, you wouldn't normally see it when you have the waves like this, the wave height so intense. So look at that, I'm, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're seeing it here in the most extreme way so just be cautious on that usually you don't have the waves that, that intense but that is a big difference and it adds a lot to the realism and the, and the uh, look to kind of mimic more real water and I kind of feel like the height also has just more different variations it isn't just amplifying it it's doing it's doing more than just that so there's a lot more customization and play in this. And what I'm going to do really quick too, covered most of the basics in here, showed off the presets, kind of helped understand. And you know, one thing too, maybe people don't touch this, color density. But let's start with something clear. So we do have these sliders here that maybe people don't touch much. So the density is going to make... It's going to make it see how deep you can see. You know, we have a kind of a darker color here. If you made it really light color here or even crystal clear. Density still prevents us from seeing too deep. 
And then we have this light up watercolor. So if you wanted this sort of bluish color to show up in here, it just amplifies it inside of there. It's kind of tricky. It's just something you got to play with to get it just right. That's again why it's nice to have these presets. And let's take a look at this in a scene. So I've already created a scene right here. I have an evening shot and a night shot. I love these shots on the water. They're really powerful when they're done really well. This is this is okay. But you know, I've added lights on our on our building there and we're seeing that reflection in there. And what we can do, and although it's not animating right now, animates in uh, build mode, of course when you would actually render it. <clears throat> but what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit these in real time and kind of see what our our uh, water looks like. And this is, I forgot to mention, this has a full reflection plane added to it. I'll show you really quick. To get the best results on water, although it does cost some performance, Speedray does a decent job. But when you actually go and you add the reflection plane onto here, and I'll show you the difference. So that's with projected reflections, this reflection sphere, low quality reflections. Um, oh, my mistake, but Speedray's not doing anything here. Speedray's only affecting up there, and we're just getting the projected reflections, which are only only so so much in quality. When we go and you add a reflection plane onto this flat water surface, this one we get the best reflections in the water and it look they look great with this new water especially so now I'm gonna go back to edit we don't have the water animated here but that's okay so then we could play with things like the height like I want just a little bit in there I don't want it to distort too much I kinda lose I wanna see the kinda the form and the in the reflection there And um, playing with the really the height and the scale are the biggest things. Obviously, you get really big, you get it gets a little, quite a bit distorted, but you get nice small ones. You get the smaller ripples. Then you can play with the height a bit more. It's, I really liked the water before. I, I really didn't have complaints on the water before, but I've definitely seen a marked improvement in the realism in this water. Foam shows up. I think foam looked a little different in this. And the caustics, of course, would look good in the pool. Seeing uh, on the little distortions, refractions on the edge. And then let's say we have a different lighting scene. So there's our scene there. And this one's in the daytime. Maybe just another variation. In fact, let's try some of the presets on here. So there's what that looks like. So if you want to just be lazy, <laughs> which is perfectly fine, because Lumion, really Lumion just makes things easier. So I guess it does not make you lazier. It makes you more efficient. That's a better term. But let, it, let someone else's work work for us and just pick. I mean, this is great because playing around sometimes it's hard. It's an, it, it, it takes time. This is great because... We can just pick one and be like, that's it. That's the one we want. Let's try to super clear. Ah, too green. Way too green. It's, it, it, I got lighting effects on here, which are probably throwing things off. It's not really that green. So let's say we really wanted that one. So just pre-done right there. Highly recommend playing with a water scene with a reflection plane on it. There's just nothing like it. They added, before you couldn't even add reflection planes onto water surfaces. You still can't on oceans, but on the, uh, I think it was, was six or five. I, I can't quite remember what we finally were able to add reflection planes to water, and it just made such a huge difference. And man, it, it looks good. New water looks awesome. Presets are amazing. And. And this definitely a, a marked improvement. All right, so that's all 
what we're going to cover in this tutorial. And please like this video if you like this content. Um, we've got a couple more Lumion live stream uh, eight features to cover and more after that. And also, I want to also make a make sure it's understood that Lumion covers all these effects themselves on that, especially that web page that I'll have a link to in the description. They have their own version, that really nice and clean video that shows off all of these effects as well. Um, that's that's great. I highly recommend taking a look at that. And my 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 goal here is just to kind of shed my own light on these effects, my as a user myself, and how I see it. Even though I would love to hear if you guys have any other thing to add to this, because I, you know, I'm just playing things I miss and may misunderstand too. So yeah, feel free to leave any comments for future tutorials as well. And that will be all for this one. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.